the Archdiocese of Abuja marks the Oak Jubilee, that is the 88th birthday anniversary of the Emeritus Archbishop of Abuja, His Eminence, John Oloron Femi Cardinal Onaikon, Commander of the Order of the Ninja, with a Holy Mass of Thanksgiving and celebrations on Saturday, 12 February 2024, at the Cathedral of Twelve Apostles. Papa Ground, Kasana, Abuja. Cardinal Naikon was a chief celebrant and was assisted by about 15 bishops and over 150 priests. Brothers and sisters in Christ, please join me to warmly congratulate our birthday celebrant, John Cardinal, a lot of very Naikon. As they are the biggest age of those who are strong, 80 years. Your Eminence, congratulations. Your late Excellencies, dear people of God, we Catholics do not celebrate the human being with a holy mass. We celebrate only God. That is exactly what we are gathered here to do today. Any celebration of the celebrant itself will take place outside the mass. Indeed, we have to celebrate God. God began to be gracious to him when he was born into the devout. Catholic family of Mr. Bartholomew and Mrs. Joanna Omaheko in Kaba, Kobe State, on the 29th of January 1944. In January 1963, John Omaheko proceeded to St. Peter and Paul Middle Seminary in, at Bodijan in Ibano. Or your state to begin his journey with the Christian. That was where I first met him 60 years ago in January 1964. His past students will bear him out in that. I know that three of them are archbishops now, two of whom are here. About a dozen others. Many more are priests. A good number of them are here with us at this month. I have seen them. They have come to honor their former commentator and rector. Yes. In rapid succession, he became the substantive bishop of Inori, coadjutor bishop of Abuja, bishop of Abuja. Archbishop of Abuja, of his creation as a cardinal in 2012. Cardinal Panayeko has held so many important positions within and outside the church. Our celebrant has shown himself to be a very fair minded person, a thoroughly global personality. A man who is not able to denominational or religious bigotry. He gets along very well with everyone from all walks of life and political or ideological persuasion. What is most striking about him is that he is unbelievably humble. Cardinal Bonaikos, Episcopal motto is, Thy will be done. That is exactly how he has lived all his life. In concluding this one, I would like to recommend and commend Cardinal Bonaikos motto to all of us. Indeed, the whole Nigeria. Because one thing 
that we Nigerians don't do, most of us, is God's will. We don't do God's will. And I believe that is what has brought us to the abject state that we find ourselves in as a nation. Sometimes, years of people admonish us to accept the unacceptable as the will of God. No, sir. The acceptable injustice, man's inhumanity to man, is not the will of God. Rather, it is a subversion of the will of God. Some capricious people install their own will that is patently selfish and self serving and then turn around to demand that we accept it as the will of God. No. For as long as we continue to lie to ourselves that our own works and perverted will is the will of God, for so long shall we continue to grow in the dark. We shall make no meaningful progress at home, and we shall be unable to occupy our rightful place in the community of nations. I believe that we can continue to count on God to still be gracious to Him in the years ahead. And when that day dawns, that he will go to meet his maker. I pray that God will still be there, being gracious enough to admit him into the communion and fellowship of the saints in them through Christ our Lord. Amen. Once
my special mass of my birthday. For me, that was the high point of the highest point of my day. 29th of January. After that, the next day, early in the morning, I jumped on the plane to return home just in time for the event of last Thursday, 1st of February, hosted by my good friend, the High Chief Lulu Briggs, to which many of you here also were present. It was organized to wish me a happy birthday. We did a book presentation. We launched the book. And we did fundraising for my foundation to ensure its sustainability for many years to come. I thank all of you who have worked hard for my birthday. May the God bless, may God bless all of you. I thank especially the Archdiocese of Abuja, headed by the Archbishop Ayao Kaigama, for all you have done. It's not easy to prepare this uncompleted cathedral for an occasion like this. I pray that the Lord God will give us the very without to finish the work as quickly as possible. When I started this job, I didn't know we would reach this level by the time of my, of my retirement. God has done it. We reached this level. There's still a lot of work and plenty of money. But God says we should not worry. This is his job and it will be done. Archbishop Kagama, thank you very much. May God bless you and all those who are working with you. I thank God for the past 80 years for graces received. And I pray to God to have mercy on me for forgiveness for my faults and feelings, for sins both of omission and commission. I'm relaxed in my conscience about my feelings of the past. I take very seriously the, adv the advice of St. Paul that we should not worry too much about what has happened in the past. We should face the future and the Lord God is with us. I look forward, therefore, to the future which cannot be too long. All those who are praying for me to live for 200 years, may God forgive you because... <laughs> May God forgive you all because you do not know what you are saying. <laughs> Man, because right now at 80, I have one primary project. My primary project is preparation for paradise. And that I do every day. The guard of honor was mounted by the Knights of St. John's International for His Eminence, John Cardinal Unaigo. Sir Charles Wan commanded the parade. The Cardinal was accompanied on the inspection by a Brigadier General Guja Novo Sister Chuke and Sir Peter Eke. If the, if the government is not a good government, it cannot deal with economy, it cannot deal with security, it cannot deal with conflict, peace. And when I say good government, I mean a government that is made up of people's choice. I don't know whether our president, our present president, Tinubu, is aware and if he's interested in turning this around. If he is, we shall know. Because in this matters, not a matter of what you say, of the policies you have played. When we begin to hear that no crowd, a whole group of, of kidnappers have been rounded up, that their deaths have been scattered, that you cannot walk freely through the streets of, of the city. Uh, displaced people are back to their homes. 
safely doing their farming and living in peace. And that those who drove them away are not left there to continue to uh, occupy. Not, this is no longer a time for election. When you tell all kinds of lies to win votes, the elections are over now. It's time to go back. No, Nigerians should not take their service to the church. The church is not established to run the country. They are not rulers. They take their, they take their problems to their rulers.